Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Production Expert. And today in this demo, I'm going to show you the new Mix Assistant in Neutron 3 Advanced. And if you want to learn more about Neutron 3 from Isotope or find out what we think about Neutron 3, then do check out our in-depth article on Production Expert. So here I have a session with the uh, kit, bass, piano, electric piano, Hammond, brass section, some vibes, some backing vocals, and obviously a lead vocal. And what we're gonna do here is to do the first sort of mix prep. And this is where the new mix assistant comes in handy. The key thing is to do this right at the beginning of the mix stage. So you've finished all your tracking, but you haven't started mixing. So you're working with pretty raw files rather than having already done some processing. So what we need to do is to put an instance of the Relay plugin from Isotope on all our tracks. So if I hold down the Alt key for everything, click on here, and Native Plugin, uh, Isotope, and go down to Relay, and you'll see that all of the tracks in the session populate. Then you'll see also that what's happened here is we've got an instance of relay on every single track, including some of the auxes, like the here, the kit reverb. So we'll take that one off, uh, the kick sub. We've now just got relay plugins on the tracks because that's a key thing. It's a key part of the process. You only have the relay plugins on actual audio tracks or tracks with audio. So it obviously it could be an instrument track, but you don't put it on any of the AUX tracks that might be doing uh, subgrouping or effects returns. But there's one little challenge that uh, I came across with doing it the way that I've just done it. Uh, and that is if we look at this stereo track, so for instance, the piano track here, what we have is a multi-mono, because the, the piano track is a stereo track, and what's happened is Pro Tools has put in a multi-mono, because obviously I started on a mono track, and it's put multi-monos on any of the stereo tracks. And in fact, with Pro Tools, there's no easy way of doing a one hit and getting mono instances of a plugin on mono tracks and multi-channel instances on stereo tracks or it could be obviously higher track counts so what i found is that actually especially on session like this where there are a relatively small number of stereo tracks is simply to go through the tracks and to change it from a a multi-mono native plugin to a stereo or in this case a multi-channel version of the plugin and we can do that with all the different stereo channels and there we go now we've got stereo instances of the relay plugin on the stereo tracks and mono instances on the mono tracks next i'm going to instantiate the main neutron plugin so again down to isotope and go for the neutron 3 plugin and then whilst we're at it We'll also put in the visual mixer. So again, multi-channel, isotope, and the Neutron 3 visual mixer. There we go. Because that'll come in useful in a bit. So back to the Neutron. And what we need to do is to go to Mix Assistant here. And then we get this window where we've got two options. We can go down the track enhance route, which effectively is the track assistant in previous versions of Neutron, or this new part, which is the mix assistant part, the balance. So we'll select balance and next. And it's just reminding us to insert relay plugins in each of the tracks, which we've done. And then what we're gonna do is to move on and obviously once you get used to it you can choose to select the don't show this again it's just helping to make sure that you reminded you that you've done everything you need to do and now we get this option and you'll notice that the begin listen is still grayed out and this is the focus option and usually what it'll be is 
the, the vocal track, the lead vocal. So I'm going to star that. You can choose to focus on with more than one track, but for this, it's the lead vocal. So that's what I'm going to have as my focus track. And then we can begin listening, or rather the mix assistant can begin listening. So I've put the cursor at the beginning of the song. We can click the begin listening, and it reminds us to play the song from the beginning. So here we go. And it will start listening to the track. And of course, remember, this is a unmixed session, which is exactly what it should be. And the key thing is, is, although you can stop it now at any point, it may not get all the information that it needs. So really you're best to let it play through the entire track. And also, if you try and cheat it and start part way through, it will say, hang on a second, you need to start at the beginning. And then you go back to the beginning. So it's well worth not taking any shortcuts in this process, but to let it play through the entire track. Now, whilst Mix Assistant is listening to all these tracks in this session, it's analyzing them and allocating them to one of five different groups. And that'll all become clear in just a moment. So once we get to the end of, of the song, we can hit stop in Pro Tools and then go to results. And we've got this window here with five groups. You remember I was talking a moment ago about the all the tracks in the session being allocated to one of five groups. I mean, these faders are effectively like VCA faders, because if we look at one of the relay plugins, so we just open up the snare one here, what it is is a gain trim. And what's happened here is, as it's been analysing it, it's adjusted the gain trim. So it's effectively like when you start in a session, tweaking the gain trims and getting the level architecture, the gain staging, in the right zone. So if we just go back to Neutron 3. So we've got the focus, which in this case is the lead vocal. We've got voice, which will be any other vocal tracks like the backing vocals, bass, percussion and music and we can check whether the mix assistants got these allocations correct because we can go through here so you can see that the backing vocals are all being allocated to voice electric piano music that's fair enough Hammond it's kind of thought that was a voice when it should be music so we'll correct that um, so there we got the snare the toms trombone trumpet vibes they're all good, so that's all okay. So we can click that. And now what we can do is we can start playing anywhere in the session really, but we can start playing. And so this is the sort of first stab at getting the levels all in the right sort of zone. And we can bypass it Just here. And what is happening here is there's some cleverness so that the bypass doesn't deafen us. And then we can actually start tweaking this. If we want to sort of just improve things. So if I wanted just to feature the vocal a bit more. So we can take a look at the settings. And we see here that this was a little issue that I've come up against is that the toms, they hardly play through the entire track. And you can see here that the toms have gone right up. So when we get the tom fill, they're deafening. So what I'm going to do is just manually pull those down. So that's tom one, tom two, and the floor tom. And then that will all take care of itself. So go back to Neutron. In fact, what I tend to do is to leave an untargeted instance of the Relay plugin so that I can have both this open and also here be able to go from different tracks 
and go through and check what's going on. So when I'm happy with that, we can then accept those settings. And then of course, those orange faders, they're gone. And there's actually no way of getting back to those orange faders other than to reanalyze the entire song and you know, effectively do all of that over. Basically, these relay plugins are really functioning like the input tr gain trim that you would find on top of a, a console. The sort of gain trim that isn't on the Pro Tools mixer. With Neutron 3, we've now effectively, with these relay plugins, got ourselves a channel strip gain trim. Right at the top, by putting it in the first insert, we've got uh, a gain trim right at the top of the channel. Now, another way of being able to adjust these uh, relay plugins is to actually use the visual mixer, because here I could go in and we've got the sax. So you can see I can get hold of the sax in the uh, visual mixer, and you can see that it's also adjusting the gain on the relay plugin on the sax channel. So again, you don't have to go hunting around. You can do everything from here. So I could highlight the floor tom, the electric piano. They're all there and we can read off the numbers. Now I've put the stereos in. It's recognized it's a stereo. And of course we could choose to change the image width if we wanted to, all from the visual mixer. So now that we're done with the mix assistant, we could now move on to use the track assistant to actually work on individual tracks. But the good thing is, having used the mixed assistant, we've got our session in, in terms of level architecture in a very good place. So I hope you found this demo video on using the new mix assistant in Isotope Neutron 3 Advanced helpful. And if you want to learn more about Neutron 3 from Isotope or find out what we think about Neutron 3, then do check out our in-depth article on Production Expert. I'll see you again soon.